Hello there, welcome back to Wireless Solutions. Today we are diving into the essential tips and tricks on how to recover deleted files on Android. If you have accidentally deleted a file on your phone and want to recover it, start by putting your phone on airplane mode and avoiding further use. Watching this video on your phone could reduce your chances of recovery. Instead, switch to your laptop, desktop, or TV and I will join you there in a moment. Okay, so the reason I told you to stop using your phone and put it into airplane mode is because whenever you delete a file, the data isn't completely removed instantaneously. Instead, the Android OS marks the space where the data used to sit as empty, so you won't be able to reach that file as easily. But it is still technically there until that empty slot gets filled by something else, usually when new files need that extra space. Now, I don't want to raise your hopes, though, because there is an extremely high chance that you won't be able to recover your deleted file, especially if that file was deleted more than 24 hours ago. And I guarantee you that there is going to be plenty of people leaving a comment saying that this video is useless because their file didn't get recovered. However, it is important to understand that no recovery method comes with a guarantee. Anyway, if you drop and damage your phone to the point where it is not even usable anymore, like the touchscreen won't work or the display won't turn on, but you can still see that it turns on because you can feel vibrations or hear the sound. We will teach you how in a few minutes later. Anyways, if you're lucky enough, your file may not even be deleted at all. Just like a Windows desktop, most Android apps that store data also carry a recycle bin. So even if you delete a photo or video, it will be moved to the recycle bin for several days until it gets automatically deleted permanently. So if you are looking to recover any media, look for the menu titled Trash, Recycle Bin or Archive. For Google Photos, it can be found in the Library section. For Google Messages, it can be found on the side panel as Archive. For any apps or games, it is a little more complicated. In the Play Store, you tap your profile. Select Manage Apps and Devices. Tap on Manage. Change the Install dropdown to Not Install. Change the filter to Recently Added. And here, you can restore your old apps quickly. Now, if your file is not in the recycle bin, then we will need to check the cloud because there is a slight chance that these reflections have not yet been reflected online. Google Drive is the default cloud storage for all Android phones, and almost every Google app uses this to back up your data. If you are trying to retrieve a photo or video, you should check Google Photos. So on your desktop, go to photos.google.com and dig through there. Even check the trash folder found within the hamburger menu. So if you are really desperate to retrieve those old messages or photos, you will need to factory reset your phone and set it up with that cloud backup. On the positive side, Google doesn't do these smartphone backups that quickly, so it may still be an option hours later, even for photos and videos. To check when the last time Google backup your entire phone, you can download the Google One app. And on the homepage, under Backup, it will tell you. Plus, you can see what other phones are backup on your cloud. Or if you have the Google Drive app, you can also check there within the backup section. Finally, if you don't feel like factory resetting your phone but still want to retrieve that deleted file, then the last resort is to use a third-party recovery app. But that is where things start to get really sketchy because the grand majority of them are straight app scams. Trust me, I would know because I did some research for this video. Some apps will require you to pay some money and ended up empty-handed. The main reason why most of these recovery apps don't work it is because retrieving a deleted file from your internal storage is pretty much close to impossible. Every Android phone released after 2011 uses a media transfer protocol that is a lot stricter than USB mass storage which is what most hard drives use. That is why, when you connect your phone to your computer, it doesn't pop up as a drive letter. Instead, it shows up as a phone icon, basically implying that your phone is still in control, preventing you from changing the storage. But you still have a slight chance of recovering those files if you are already rooted. I will explain more in a second. Now, if your phone supports an external storage, meaning you have an SD card and you accidentally delete a file off that, then you will have a slightly better chance of recovering it, especially if that file has just been recently deleted. So I recommend personally to use a software called Recover. You just plug in your microSD card to your computer with an adapter, find the drive letter, and 
have it scan it. Now again, if you have root, you will have a better chance of recovering those deleted files that were once stored on your internal storage, especially if the deleted information was within an app's database. I am not saying it is guaranteed, but it is a possibility. The only app that gets the job done is this ticker. Once you give it root access, it will dig deep into your external storage to hopefully recover those deleted files. The free version will just scan for photos and videos, while the pro version will let you look for any type of file. Finally, for those who have damaged their phone screen to the point where the touchscreen doesn't work or the display is just black, there are still multiple ways to retrieve your data or back it up on the cloud so that you can retrieve everything on another phone. The first option is to connect the mouse by USB to your phone so that you can control it even if your touchscreen doesn't work but you can still see what is going on. The only downside is that you may need to purchase a USB-C adapter. But if you have one laying around, then you are good to go. From there, you can download the Google One app and with that, you select Backup and hit Backup now. If your phone screen is completely destroyed and you cannot see anything, but you know it is still on because you can hear the sound or feel the vibrations, then you can download screen copy on your computer to quickly mirror your phone screen and let you control it. It is free, open source, and pretty straightforward, making it easy to also back up everything. The only downside is that you will need to have USB debugging pre-enabled on your phone within the developer options. Either way, those are the best methods you can use to try and retrieve a deleted file. Again, I am so sorry if you could not retrieve anything, but hey, on the bright side, you did not waste any money on an expensive, catchy Windows recovery software that could also end up giving you a virus, so maybe drop a thumbs up for that. And for future reference, most people don't know this, but you can also back up your device folders on your Google Cloud. To do this, simply open the Google Photos app on your phone and tap on your profile picture in the top right corner. From there, select Photo Settings and then Backup. Once you are in the backup settings, you will see an option labeled Backup Device Folders. This feature allows you to choose which folders on your phone you want to backup to your Google Cloud. This can include your screenshots, WhatsApp images, Instagram photos, and any other folders you have created or apps that save images to your device. It is a very hidden but incredibly useful feature that ensures all your important photos and videos are safely stored in the cloud and can be accessed from any device with your Google account. Backing up your device folders not only provides a safeguard against losing your photos and videos if something happens to your phone, but it also makes it easy to free up space on your device. Once your photos and videos are backup, you can delete them from your phone, knowing they are safely stored in your Google Cloud. By utilizing this feature, you can manage your storage more effectively and ensure that all your precious memories are preserved. It is one of those little-known tips that can make a big difference in how you use and enjoy your device. So take a moment to explore this feature and give yourself some peace of mind. And that is all there is. We hope that this meaningful solution brightens your day. And if you find this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Your support means a lot to us. Thank you so much and see you in our next video.